Okay, so we have an 1850 battle report for you today on this awesome Infinity-esque looking terrain. I have two units of Warp Spiders, I've got a Wraith Knight, we have got two units of Guardians and Transports, Mantle of the Laughing God Farce here, six jet bikes, three in reserve, Fire Prism, and uh, yeah, it's big guns never tire, so this, this jerk is scoring, and I'm facing an awesome, awesome jet bike, Ravenwing Dark Angel Army. Guys with Meltas here, multi melta squad of five guys with some awesome upgrades, a bolter squad of three guys, massive command squad, every upgrade imaginable, badass vehicles over there, some nastiness, I don't even know what that stuff is over there, I gotta stay the heck away from that. And um, yeah, and we got three objectives, one objective is here, one objective is here, and one objective is way over there? No. Oh, and th uh, three over here. Yeah, that's the third objective there. And I am going first, unless my opponent wants to try and steal initiative. He's already done his scout move. You're going to try? Okay. Here we go. Can he steal initiative on a six? No, almost. He almost steals initiative. Okay, no night fighting, though. That's going to help the Eldar for sure. Back in okay, a so bit. Eldar turn one. No night fighting in effect. These guys jumped out over here, gunned down that unit of three bikes for first blood, ran back and teleported back. This vehicle fired in just the shield and the, uh, the top gun, but only put one wound in. Couldn't do enough uh, damage there. Over here, combination of the two jet bike shuriken cannons and this unit wiped out that unit of three bikers. Uh, these guys didn't do very much. They, they shimmied around and chickened around here. I'm trying to avoid a plasma cannon that's in that unit. This guy over here blasted into there, hit the command squad, didn't cause any wounds though. Six hits, no wounds. The big guy over here blasted into here, killed only one guy. Uh, this vehicle though, what a champion, fired in there with the, uh, what, what could reach, his top gun and his serpent shield, fired in, could see just uh, the bo the both guys in the squadron, and ignore his cover, put a whole ton of uh, uh, wounds in, or not wounds, but um, you know, uh, penetrations in there, blew up that squadron, so that was really helpful. And otherwise we just shimmied stuff back a little bit, uh, cast uh, prescience, tried to guide, failed with double sixes, I sacrificed my warp charge to not take a... Uh, not take a perils using the ghost helm. So that's it. Otherwise, he moved around just a little bit just to get some cover. And it is on to turn one for the remaining uh, Dark Angels. Rounding up, bottom of turn one for the Dark Angels. A spirited response. Over here, Melta tried to hit the vehicle. Couldn't penetrate, though. The multi Melta, pardon me. Um, over here, Torrent of Fire, Banner of Devastation. Blasting into this guy first. Rad Grenade hits. Lowers my toughness down. Makes it possible to wound me with bolters and things. But still, only one wound off him just because standing in the area train got that, that cheesy fire. Plus, man, I made so many uh, five pluses uh, actually, but uh, he's still standing there. But what else happened though? Over here, uh, warp spiders got shot with the banner devastation guys firing bolters in here, wiped out only four of them, but it was enough to force a morale save. Failed morale already almost off the board. Bunch of losers over here. Uh, other than that, yeah, they, uh, they've spear they've come together because that vehicle gives stealth to everything. So they've got a four plus uh, stealth or even better potentially if they're behind a uh, train there. So they're chilling over there and uh, we got to respond to this aggression. I think there is one thing in reserve, right? There's one uh, multi melted bike in, in, in outflanking, so i got to think about that. Let's Back not forget, in reserve bit. bike, <laughs> three plus, they show up on turn two? They do show up. Okay, so they're on on turn two, they're going to fly on. I think I know where I'm going to send them, I'm going to try to send them that way. We're going to see what happens. Back in a bit. Okay, so Eldar turn two, wow, really good turn. Things are going definitely very well. Uh, starting off though, this guy's alive. Uh, shots from those guys, couldn't do it. Shots from my Farseer, couldn't do it. Uh, still alive, but what happened, they jetted away afterwards, he jetted up here. These guys moved in there, gunned down a unit of three bikes. Over here, Warwalkers guided successfully, gunned down half, more than half the unit of uh, command squad. Combination of these two vehicles shooting and blew away the entire command squad and killed also uh, another unit of um, guys back there, most of those dudes. The surviving members of that unit of five are actually fleeing off the board right now. Um, jet bikes helped out, put some wounds in a few places. Uh, Wraith Knight moved up, was ready to charge, had prescience, used the prescience to reroll shooting, and actually managed to pull that character into the warp. He only had one wound, but just for cinematic purposes, he did take an instant death and got pulled into the warp. And uh, things are looking good, I can't complain. Now we're going to see if the uh, outflanking uh, Melta guy wants to show up. Three plus. Oh. Yeah, outflanking. Yeah, you want a dice? There you go. Three plus, outflanker. Outflanking. You want to do uh, one or two, three or four, five or six anywhere? Come on, one or two. There he is. He's coming on, ready to wreck my vehicles on this side of the board. And we're back in a bit. Okay, so, rounding up, uh, bottom of turn two, what happened here? Shooting from a variety of stuff here. Killed four of them, made their leadership, though. Uh, over here, those two bikes, uh, taking a nice little gamble. Killed one guy, passed their leadership, though. Over here, shooting from these guys. Killed only two bikers, but they ran off the table, like cowardly Eldar that they are. Over here, outflanking guy. Rear shot, misses. Here, connects. Penetration, makes the cover save. Here, rolls up. 
fires into the vehicle, uh, connects, fails cover save, uh, rolls a three, so plus two, it's an immobilization. Down to two hull points and, uh, and immobilized now. So that, that's going to hurt him a little bit. But it's on to turn three for the Eldar. We're going to try to put uh, down some damage this round as well. Uh, we, we just are. ended the game here. It was uh, Eldar turn uh, three or four, was it? Eldar turn three, because uh, basically we're left with a model. These guys have gun, uh, are about to shoot to gun that guy down. This is the only other model surviving. What happened? Shooting this into the squadron killed it. Flew over there, assaulted uh, the, uh, the, the giant land speeder, killed it. Those guys, shooting, rendered those guys. Over here, combination of Warwalkers with Guy, this vehicle, that vehicle, zotted that unit with Samael. Uh, this guy fired in here, didn't do too much, but these guys blew away that land speeder. So we're just going to end the game there. Um, Man, some uh, Elder Onslaught shooting uh, definitely did not fail for us this, this battle, but uh, it was pretty scary at first when I saw those jet bikes, but man, I mean, you, just, you know what, the turn that you fired at this guy and didn't do very much damage, that was really, that was yeah. really hurtful. That, that, was, that was shocking. I thought you'd do more damage, but thanks for the game anyways, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Good game.